Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we are going to use Photoshop to create an animated GIF. Photoshop, you say? Isn't that going to be really complicated and difficult? No, not really. You'll be fine. So the first thing we need to do to create an animated GIF is we need to get the video clip that we're going to create a GIF of. So the first thing you need to do is you can grab a piece of a video file from an existing video file. In VLC, simply open up the video you want, scroll to about where you want to start grabbing video from, and if you don't have these four buttons down here, simply click View and select Advanced Controls, and hit Record on the big red button, and then play your video. Let it play just long enough to get to that shot you want. Here he comes. Oh, 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 there he is. And you can just stop recording there. And that will automatically create an MP4 video in your video's library. So now let's go over to Photoshop and select File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. There it is right there. So let's hit Open. And now you can see we can view the entire video, scrub back and forth through it. And these two little handles here will mark the beginning and end. So we want to drag those up until we get... And you want to get as little of the video as possible because now I've got like this tiny little area to work with. But get to just about the beginning of the spot you want to grab. That looks right. And now we'll go to the end. What does it say? He says, welcome to level seven. And there you go. So hit OK. And... You can do just the selected range. You can do the entire thing if you want. Uh, make sure that make frame animation is checked. And if you have a really long animation, you can set it to include every other frame or every third frame. But that's going to give you a choppy frame rate. So you really only want to do that if it's a really long animation. So we're going to uncheck that. This is only a couple seconds. Click OK. And it will begin importing all of your frames. And now you can see, uh, let me pull up the uh, timeline down here. You'll have a timeline of all your frames down here and all of your layers over here. Each frame is actually an individual visible layer. So if I click two, it'll turn on layer two. If I click three, yada, yada, yada. So if you wanted to do any fancy editing, add some text, do some effects, this is where you can do that to each individual frame. But we just want to create that one tiny slice. So hit file save for web and you'll get this big window here give it a second to load everything and uh let's see if i can fit that in there nope all right so these are the settings you're going to want uh it may not be set to adaptive the first time you set things up so make sure it says adaptive colors 256 diffusion 100 blah, 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 all of that stuff if you need to drop down the file size you can do that here we're going to make a an almost 10 megabyte GIF, which for Imager is going to be way too big to upload, but you can find some other sites that'll host that, maybe Dropbox. And make sure you've got looping options set to forever, because if you have a GIF that does not loop, it's not a GIF at all. So save, and we'll call that level 7, and hit enter, and it'll create your animated GIF for you. That's it.